Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule. Sometimes the bodhisattvas are not born to be monks, yeah, but to be a lay person, so that it's doing different job. Yeah, sometimes they're born as prime minister, kings, merchants, uh, virgin boy, virgin girl, or any like one in bodhisattva. She he manifests in different appearance. Yeah, sometimes as princess. Yeah, thing like that. Mm. For different affinity with beings on this planet. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be present in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. ジヒブ会視聴者の皆様、こんにちは。ハスミと申します。記憶に残る日本の人々は皆様と一緒に過ごすことができ、恵まれていると感じます。日本には春、夏、秋、冬の全く異なる四季があります。古代から日本人は感性に富み、繊細な美意識を持っていて、移りよく季節の風景の中で花鳥風月を目で四季折々の情景に親しんできました。自然の恵みへの感謝、自然を
30年以上にわたりスプリームマスターチンハイはその神聖な教えにより世界を啓発してきました完全に介護したマスターである彼女は内在の神聖を即座に発見し今世で因縁の和からの永遠の解放を望む人々に対し観音訪問の瞑想法を授けています観音訪問はあらゆる介護したマスターたちが修行してきました例えば崇拝される世尊、釈迦に仏、崇拝される神の子イエス・キリスト尊敬されるマスター哲学者孔子尊敬される主・クリシュナ尊敬されるマスター哲学者老子尊敬される主マハービーラ最愛の預言者ムハンマド彼に平安あれシーク教の教祖スリグルナーナクレブジなど多くのマスターたちがいます彼女はこう強調します私たちがいつも神を心に留め他者に無視の奉仕をして宇宙の法に従うなら人間としての最高の可能性に到達し地上での目的を真に理解するだろうとスプリームマスターチンハイは波外れた慈悲の心を表す生きた手本であり愛だけではなく物資や金銭的援助を難民やホームレス自然災害の被災者や助けを必要とする人々に定期的に届けていますスプリームマスターチンハイは最愛の神がなさる全ての財政援助並びに苦しんでいる人々や助けが必要な人々を慰め支援してくださることにまた長年にわたりいかなる大義のためにも神の慈悲と愛を神の尊い子らへ伝道するために私のようなものを使ってくださることに深く感謝しています。スプリームマスターチンハイは敬意を込めて全ての特別な個人、組織、指導者、そして政府の誠実で愛に満ちた継続的支援に感謝します。天が皆様を永遠に祝福しますように。私たちスプリームマスターチンハイ国際アソシエーションのメンバーも皆様のご好意に心から感謝し、皆様のご多幸を祈っています。スプリームマスターチンハイはさまざまな組織メディア政府そして個人から支持され愛を受け多くの賞も受賞しています例えば2006年に東洋のノーベル平和賞と言われる福祉平和賞を受賞1994年に世界精神指導者賞2008年にマハービーラ賞を受賞2月22日と10月25日はスプリームマスターチンハイデーとして宣言され米国名誉市民の称号を授与されるなど長年にわたる傑出した慈善活動と人道支援により他にも多くの賞を受賞し称賛されています。
と時間が足りず他の多くの賞や栄誉をご紹介できないことをお詫びいたしますスプリームマスターチンハイは敬意を込めてすべての特別な個人、組織、指導者、そして政府の誠実で愛に満ちた継続的支援に感謝します天が皆様を永遠に祝福しますように私たちスプリームマスターチンハイ国際アソシエーションのメンバーも皆様のご好意に心から感謝し皆様のご多幸を祈っています友達である美しい動物の代弁者としてスプリームマスターチンハイは平和で愛深い完全彩色を奨励し人間がすべての命の神聖さに気づくことで動物と人間が調和して幸せに生きる穏やかで輝かしいビーガンの世界を思い描いています彼女が取り組むビーガン普及活動は様々でもう一つの生き方という印刷物の配布国際的なビーガンレストランラビングハットとビーガン食品会社ビーガン毛皮製品の展開スプリームマスターテレビジョンの放送影響力のある政府やメディア指導者への定期的な提案気候変動に関するテレビ会議に参加するなど私たちが気づかなくてもマスターの努力は動物に優しいライフスタイルの世界的な認識に多大な影響を与え生き物に対する慈悲深いライフスタイルは地球を気候変動と災害から救うと同時に国家間に永続的平和をもたらすのです長年にわたりスプリームマスターチンハイはアメリカ大陸からアフリカヨーロッパオセアニアまで世界中を旅し一般の人々と弟子に何百回にも及びさまざまな冷静の講義を行ってきましたこの洞察に富む講義の一つを今日お届けでき光栄に思いますマスターと弟子の仏教の物語仏にアシュラムを捧げた在家の修行者全8回の1回は2015年8月15日フランスにおける英語による講義です Special. I want a woman that you clap so loud. <laughs> hey, s a w a comes as him here. s a w a m here, come, 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 c o m Where is your wife? Oh, you're hiding. I was thinking this is her, but it's not it, and then. <laughs> It looks similar. <laughs> oh, so for Israel, no. no Colombia. Colombia is similar here. All people are similar to me. <laughs> I have too many children, I have no idea where you come from. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no husband, only children. A lot of children. Cha-cha-cha. Okay.、Uh, uh, many days now, I read you many stories about monks. Yeah? Yeah. Then I also praise the monks for you know, having great merit. <laughs> I even give my clothes to them. <laughs> I worry because they didn't have monks' clothes. They just wear your clothes, and then they wanted to become official. So they 
shave their head and then my assistant comes to tell me, Master, they're all shaving their heads now. <laughs> I say, why? <laughs> why do that now? Well, they have been nuns for 17 years or more. More is only one or less because for MSM TV, but the rest are 16, 17 years since, since ever since I make the little temple in Yongdong for them. That's, my God, 17 years. Wow, and they still look very young. You know, the young nuns and, yeah, beautiful people. And they go out work every day, you know. I mean, work like usual, like people. And I heard that the, the farmers around them, the farmer owners around their temple, where they're working, they're very happy with them. They like them, they prefer them, you know, because they work honestly and fast and not complaining, you know. Good people, good vibrations, so they hire them all the time. <laughs> very busy, busy. If you guys have no job, become monk and I <laughs> follow them and you immediately welcome in Korea. <laughs> you know, in a gardening job, fruit trees and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, the men and women, uh, uh, nuns and monks, they work in there. So they take care of themselves. Okay. If anybody become monks and nuns like that, I don't mind. Just all welcome. <laughs> Go take care of yourself. <laughs> in the Buddha time, you can... Uh, Go back in, and this time you go work. No problem. Then I don't need to worry about where you stay and what I uh, have to do for you. Hmm? Hmm. I give them all my clothes. <laughs> Korean nuns. I, I just had it. You know, I didn't have chance to wear them all yet. And then, I thought I could be a monk at home at least, and now I can't. <laughs> What kind of luck I have. Why you have to shave your head just now and all my clothes are gone? <laughs> I was worried too small for them, but I said, try, try. You know, bring in there and try. And this is okay, huh? All of it's okay, right? Yeah, wonderful. In Korea, do you have enough? Oh, I, I gave a lot of money. You can use some, okay? Yeah. So you can... Um, divide, you know, each one and take home and put together or in the bank and then for extra some time when you cannot work and some older people um, buy medicine, it will last a long, 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 long time. <laughs> yeah. If not enough, I will offer more later, okay? Up to now, mostly I talk to you about monks and nuns, but in the Buddha's time it's different, okay? Truly, monks and nuns have to go out and beg for food, even the Buddha himself. Imagine the world honored one, teacher of heaven and earth, have to go out begging for food. Humility, okay? We are nothing to compare to him already in humility. He was a prince and he will be king of a nation. He forsake everything and wives and children to become a monk in a the tradition of monk must go out back in India, just so that you renounce everything, detach to everything. So he does the same, and eat only once a day. Yeah, being monk is not that easy. Even now, huh? You have to deny many things, self-denial, and uh, when you're old, because you live alone, maybe nobody take care of you. If you are like ascetic monks, and you live in the forest. When you get older, nobody take care. So it's not like, okay, same. It's not same, okay? But I don't mean, I don't mean that you lay people are bad or worse. Not necessarily, okay? Not necessarily. Because it all depends on the heart, but that's their way. You know, they, they chose to, to live that way, ascetic way. It's wonderful also. Understand? I also wish to live like that. For one person, Maybe if you guys give me too much hard time, I go to uh, <laughs> work in the field there with them hiding there. You wouldn't be able to think that I'm there. I go plow the field, earn some money, go home, eat. <laughs> and then don't care about anybody. That would be, you know, a good life. Yeah, for me. Yeah. But being monks or nuns, you, you have to really uh, pay attention to, to the Dharma, you know, to meditation. So don't work too hard, work enough to earn money only. Put in the bank and the interest, yeah? The money I gave can put it in the bank. In a high interest rate and every month take out something, 
for medicine or an extra, you know, dentist, whatever, okay? Yeah, extra. Yeah. Uh, what I mean is then uh, they live together is not bad, but some live in the forest alone and all that. You know, when you're old, nobody take care of you. When you renounce everything, you have no father, mother, your sister, brothers. It's mostly uh, monks are supposed to go out of the country even, you know, but nowadays it's so difficult. Hmm? The only country they can go out quickly is a neighboring country. <laughs> because they are like a peninsula, huh? Where do they go? Jump in the sea, go to Japan or something. <laughs> Before, the Buddha doesn't have any videotape or something, so the monks have to study diligently whatever the Buddha has said from the elders and then go out and spread it. That's the only way before. Nowadays, I just sit here and then uh, the whole world is watching. It's so convenient. I have to thank the technology of our time. We are very lucky people, fortunate. I mean, our technology is not tip-top yet. You know, not the best yet, but still, it affords us a lot of comfortable uh, means. You know, aeroplane, you know, jump in a few hours, come see Master. Yeah? Before, from Korea to come here, I don't know how many lifetimes <laughs> walking. <laughs> <laughs> so the Buddha in the old time, he also walked, just run around the small countries in India, vicinity, huh? Because how long can a monk walk? especially thousands together, you know? Yeah. So it was really a phenomenon. It was really a big sacrifice of the Buddha and the monk at that time to do all that, walking everywhere, just to preach the Dharma, to save people. Yes. And nowadays it's different, eh? We cannot go out begging and, 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 and you know, tell the whole monk one kilometer long, <laughs> the traffic that will kill us. Yeah? They say, get, get, get out, out, out. <laughs> yeah. Even if you walk on the sidewalk, there'll be bicycle, motorcycle. You, you can't just walk like that. Yeah. So it's very different nowadays. We have to take care of ourselves. Yes. Uh, and f from many days now, I keep telling you about the the monk monkhood. Yeah. But not necessarily that you have to become a monk in order to to uh, reach enlightenment, a uh, high high level. Yeah, it's just they chose that way, the purified way. So we have to respect them. I don't just uh, come in body, 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 stuff like that. Okay, <laughs> respect. Okay, they chose that way. They chose their way of solitude. Okay, respect. Even though they go out to work, but they don't touch you feely like you do, so mm, it's okay. Uh, in the Buddha's time, there was a person named Vimalakirti. You heard of him, Vimalakirti, right? Yeah, he's a lay person, lay disciple of the Buddha, but his wisdom so high, his attainment is so huge that other monks are very, you know, keeping. <laughs> Uh, uh, distance, respectful distance, because he has such an eloquence and such power that uh, some of the monks cannot match him. Yeah. So when he was sick, it's a very long. I would like to have read it to you, but probably we have to have another retreat again, or not retreat, but like casual, you know, visit with many people and a camera and all that, and then we will read that story one night, one day after another, because it's a long one. You know, it's not like one story like this or two stories that we can pick. No, it's, it's like the whole, like the whole life work of Vimalakirti. And one day, if we have a chance again to see each other here or somewhere, I will read that for you. I will, will, will read, 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 read <laughs> the, the, the whole, 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 whole thing. <laughs> okay. That man is respected by the whole country, kings and officials, prime ministers and rich and poor people. And all the many of the monks, Buddha's monk disciples, in awe of him, you know. <laughs> so when he pretend, he was sick, he made manifest it that he was sick. Maybe he was sick, because he saved so many people because he got sick. And they come and ask him why you're sick. 
For example, if you are so great, why are you sick? You say, I'm sick. It's just, you know, like that, no? Huh? Mm, because some, we get sick if we get this body, and if we live in this world. But if all sentient beings are not sick, then my sick will be gone. Yeah. If they are not sick, then I am not sick. <laughs> That's what he said. And he said many uh, wonderful ways, eloquence, eloquently. Yeah. So when he was manifested as sick, uh, kings and prime ministers and big people come see him. But then the Sekamoni Buddha and his monk's disciple did not come. Not yet. <laughs> First, uh, the Buddha sent Sariputra, Sariputra said, No, no, <laughs> you know. It's a summary, yeah? He is too eloquent. He said, Thus and thus, and I don't know how to answer. I'm not coming. <laughs> and then, Maugalayayana uh, also don't want to come. And uh, Manchusri, etc., you know, they are reluctant to come to see that lay person. He was incredible, he was a great Bodhisattva. Many people delivered because of him, yeah? liberated because of him. He is great, he is great. Great eloquence, great power. Sometimes the Bodhisattva are not born to be monks, yeah, but to be a lay person. So that it's doing different job. Yeah? Sometimes they're born as prime minister, kings, merchants. Uh, virgin boy, virgin girl, or any, like one in Bodhisattva, she, he manifests in different appearance, yeah, sometimes as princess, yeah, things like that, mm. for different affinity with beings on this planet. There are many other stories about the sacrifice of the Buddha, but I read you something uh, relaxing for a change, okay? Yeah, all right, here. This is a person, Tuda, how he is uh, offering an ashram for the Buddha, okay? So you lay people also don't feel despair, just different choices, huh? Different choices. If you have an enlightened way of uh, method, then you will also reach the high level. Depends on sincerity. Yeah. It's example, you've seen many, you know, lay woman have two children already in Hong Kong, and then she saw so many things. And she and Israel and uh, Spanish, and, you know, all lay people, etc., etc., Togo. Uh, yeah, he looked black, but he's so bright. <laughs> His light is so bright. Yeah, multicolored, technic color. <laughs> I'm reading you of a lay person who make offering of an ashram to the Buddha. To the making an ashram. Thus I have heard, I feel much better now, I don't know why. I mean, I feel the energy is together, you understand? Like we're united. I have to thank you. I have to thank you. Sometimes the tree is growing all over. We have to trim a little bit, okay? Yeah, I hate no one, even though I say I hate this kind of person, but I don't hate anyone. I just hate this kind of personality or behavior, maybe, because it's for Maya, yeah? But I hate no one. I love all of you, even the one I scolded or sent away. I love them all. And you can always count on me in any time of need. All the time, all the time, 24-7. All your life and the next life and the next life. I will always be with you. It doesn't matter who and what level you are, okay? Yeah. So don't misunderstand a lot. It just feels so light and so happy. It just feels so wonderful. I feel like we are all one, you know, like... It's just we have to trim some unruly branches, you know, like it grow too much. It doesn't grow in, inside the garden, it grow out into the street and you can't walk. 
and you have to trim or bind it a little bit. That's all, okay? I feel really, really, if it's like this every day, I can sit forever <laughs> with you. You know, it's such a, such a different feel the lightness, yeah? The non biting, the not uh, pulling, the not, uh, you know, snatching, not dragging. Just feel like you're so many people, but I don't feel any of the obstructive energy. I feel like none of you are here, but I know all of you are here. It feels no, no binding, no dragging. So wonderful. I thank all of you. I thank all of you. Thank you, really, thank you. It's a gift for me also, sit in the assembly where I feel everybody is one. <laughs> one. One goal, one ideal, one supportive energy, just so wonderful, you have no idea. I don't know how to tell you. Do you feel anything different? You do? Really? Yeah, that is good. ご視聴者の皆様、本日はマスターと弟子の仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、仏教の物語、